jo Josh Tarnowski is joining me today hey. and we're talking about two foods for better health and as you know every Monday we mm. do or every first Monday of the month we do a show about my favorite products right now the healthiest best highest quality things that you can possibly get wow that's yes. awesome so we're doing that today yes. so amazing such a good amount of like way great way to start your week it is. I feel like just knowing that, it catalyzes so many opportunities for you. This is so true. And while we're waiting for everybody to join, I'm going to share this in my Body Built by Live private group, which if you're not a part of, I'd love to invite you to join. Hi, everybody. I'd um, love to invite you to join it. How's the picture? Is it good? Should we, you know, we change it up some or is it good? What do you think? Everybody who's watching, let us know if we need to adjust the camera at all, because for some reason, we can't tell that well. I know yes. it sounds kind of crazy, but it's like a little bit of an angle, some dim light here. I think it probably looks good, but okay. yeah, we'd love to hear from you we'll guys to it. find out. Why are you doing that? So I'm going to share this to my Facebook page, and I'd love to hear who's here already. Hey, so um, we'd love to hear from you and just find out where you're joining in from, uh, what state are you in, what country are you in. That's how we always like to start the show. So yeah. you know, let us know. Oops, I just shared it to my personal page again. Okay, so while I'm, forgive you. Thank you, Josh. I'll check that. Shoot, I did it twice. Dang. Party okay, time. Okay, you're gonna see this like a million Looking times. Good. Thanks, Zara. Gina, hey, how you doing? We can see you in the yummy food. Good call. The yummy food is right. Oh, oh this stuff's so food. good. We've got some food going on. Yeah, I think we're good. Awesome. Zara Edwards is also on. Who else is here? Where are, are you guys I'm sorry, I might be saying your name wrong. Zara? I, do you know if it's Zara or Zara? I don't know. You, feel free to correct me. I apologize. Okay, one response. last post and then Mike's we're going Mike's here. Go All right. What's up, Mike? Letting everybody filter in right now. I know sometimes with Facebook Live, it takes a little bit of time. Cool. Um, for everybody to see that we're live and to join on. And I don't want to share any of the amazing secrets and the amazing tips and everything about healthy foods and foods that are going to improve your health until we have everybody here. Yeah, get the party started. Okay, so to as everybody's filtering in, if you don't know anything about the show or anything about me, you're watching the Fit and Fearless female show, which we do live every single Monday, mm -hmm. and always a different topic. Every Monday, the first Monday of the month? First Monday of the month is the product. The oh, products okay. that I'm loving right now for gotcha. health. And, and every Monday is a show. Every Monday you get a show. Cool. 3 p.m. Pacific time. And me and myself, my name is Steph Hendel. I am a certified health coach, a certified personal trainer, and I'm a mindset and emotional breakthrough expert. And the thing that I really focus on here is how fitness and food is like 10% and your mindset is another 90% mm. of weight loss and health for most people. We can say that there is some people who they just need to know what to eat, they just need to know how to work out, and they're off to the races and they're healthy and they're good to go. Yeah. Um, but I would say the majority of people in our society today really struggle with weight loss. They struggle with yep. their bodies and weight loss because of the minds that they have, the paradigm or the perspective that they look at food, fitness, their body, and their health. Yeah. So that's where I come in. I'm a coach on that. So if you want private coaching, please always hit me up. Um, shoot me a great. message. She's so good. Thank you. Yeah, it's incredible. And so many changes for me in my life, I'll tell you that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, and this is Josh, Josh Tarnowski. He is my fiance. Hey. And he's joining <laughs> me today. Yeah. So, we are so pumped to tell you about two foods for health. And everybody who's just joining, let us know where you're tuning in from, what state, what country. Singapore. Do we have any comments before we get started on the foods, Josh? We got B. Michael D. Alfonso. What's up, Mike? Steph's cooking is outstanding. Oh, that's, that's really sweet. Oh, thank Amy you. Amy Walser is on. And Amy! Mike said, hey guys. What's Hi, up, Mike? Mike? How you doing, brother? <laughs> okay, guys, let's get started. So, two foods. Two very important foods mm. for great health. Yep. This coincides with a couple products that I'm just in love with and have been in love with for actually quite some time. So I've been really excited to share this with you guys, but I like to keep it to one, one brand or one product for every first Monday show, um, just so it's not overwhelming. It is simple. So yay, here love we go. It. This is, today we're talking about salt, salt oh. and clay. 
So two really important things, and you can see all the beautiful food here. I made something special today, which is my body goat by love hummus. And the I, best. And it's so good, and I felt like it was really appropriate for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Right? Yeah, this is yeah. the love hummus, and it's got that beautiful red color. It is. So if you, you know, if you got a Valentine that you want to make this for, it's very easy. I literally made it about, took me about five minutes. Very yeah, easy. Yeah, your loved one will... Well, thank you so much. It's, it's such a good. Great, I yeah. take this to like every party ever. Everyone who's been to a party with me that's had this knows this is the jam. It photographs so, really well too. So if you want to like have some cool different uh, color pops on your table, yeah, gets people excited. All that. It's fun. Yeah, it's really fun. So we've got it here with, we cut up some really beautiful carrots to dip it in. Um, I like to dip it in like carrot, celery, um, you know, Peppers are really good, but let's be honest, sometimes I really like tortilla chips. So <laughs> I have some tortilla chips here too to show you how to throw down. Nice. Um, right. When I eat tortilla chips, I always eat them. If you're buying them, buy them organic and non-GMO. That's very important because corn is highly genetically modified. One of the most highly genetically modified crops in the United States. So yeah. organic, non-GMO, very important to get when Perfect. you're buying any kind of corn product. So today we're talking about Redmond. This is a brand that I have fallen in love with. Josh and I were blessed to go on a retreat that they held, mm -hmm. um, that they invited us to a leadership retreat like, last year. Incredible. One of the neatest experiences of my life. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, great company. Pretty next level. Um, so Redmond, they have a variety of different products, but the two products we're specifically talking about for really good health, because these are going to elevate and amplify your life big time. Yes. Number one is real salt. Ooh. So salt, yeah, we get it. You eat salt on a daily basis. We understand that. But are you eating the right kind of salt? Yep. As a health coach, I've told you that when I do these shows on my favorite products and brands, I will never, ever, ever feature a brand or a product that is not the highest quality that I would not eat myself or not feed to somebody I love. So True. Redmond is the highest quality products that I've ever found. Um, so the reason why this salt specifically is something that you should have in your life if you don't already, mm -hmm. you know, over other salts, because yeah. right now, what salt are you guys using? You know, right. what brand are you using? What type are you using? This is, so this is a mineral salt and this comes from Utah. One of the reasons this is amazing if you're not eating any kind of sea salt at all, this stuff is very powerful because it is full of minerals. So a couple of things that you want to watch out for when you are buying salt is sometimes they put sugar into salt, sometimes they put anti-caking agents into salt, and these are things, and the other thing that happens when with salt is they'll process it. Um, and they'll yep. heat it, which mm -hmm. means it's losing the nutrients. And whatever you eat, you want to eat to make your body better. Yes. So if you're eating just regular salt or salt that has sugar in it or salt that has anti-caking agents or salt that's been heated, then you are not absorbing the minerals and the nutrients that are going to make your body better. You're actually putting something into your body that will harm and hinder um, and toxify your body. Yep, that's right. And what's cool about this salt is it actually has more minerals than Himalayan sea salt. So... That makes Boom. it a whole other level. Next level. Himalayan is still incredible. It should never doubt that for a second. But this is right here in the USA. United States. Uh, right in Utah. You can't miss it. It's like Redmond, Utah, this gigantic salt cave. You can go tour it, and we got a salt rock from our own tour. Yeah. And I'll show you up close. Oh, yeah. you got to see it up close because of the color. So you can even see the minerals inside of there. You see the different coloration. So that's regular salt, like the white. And then this dark here is where all the minerals are. So they just grind this whole rock up and then it turns into coarse sea salt. You can sprinkle it on. Uh, pretty cool, I think. Yeah, when people come over, we have this like honorary, like, you came to our house, lick the salt rock. Yeah, <laughs> taste good. it. Because the taste is everything. When yep. you're cooking, if you want your food to taste really good, um, you've got to have good, high quality ingredients. And this salt is a game changer with mm -hmm. flavor. It's so good. Heck yeah. So, so good. Um, so another thing that you want to look out for for anybody who's currently using Himalayan sea salt, if that's you, here's something that happens with sea salt. So initially, everybody found out that sea salt's amazing, so we all started buying it, and the producers of sea salt started 
producing it in higher quantities. Um, and because of that, they wanted to make it cheaper and they wanted to make it better for them. So yep. they took, um, they still can like heat and they can still strip the good stuff out mm -hmm. of the sea salt. So you might be buying Himalayan sea salt or pink Himalayan sea salt even that might be stripped of the actual nutrients and the minerals. So just it's really important to be, yeah. what's that? It's just the label. They're like they took all the good stuff out and just kept the label. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you think you're buying something that's really good for you, um, and in the long run, you're actually not. You're not getting the benefits that you could be getting from salt, which is amazing for your body. Huge misconception when people yep. think that you know salt's bad for you, and there's been so much talk about that over the last few years. You know, salt causing high blood pressure, salt being a bad thing for you. Yeah. And that's true in a sense. That's true in a sense if you're buying the processed, uh, demineralized, yep. iodized, anti-caking agent filled, sugar filled, salt, table salt. Yeah, it's interesting because that's actually, I was part of that whole, um, I don't know, group of people that bought into like, the salt myth. Yeah. And so I, before I met Steph, I actually had eradicated salt from my diet. Which I know that even even when you're eating, you know, poor nutrient salt, you should still be getting 12 to 1500 milligrams a day from what they say. Who knows? Who really knows what that number is? But I think I was getting like 300 milligrams of sodium max. Mm -hmm. And so I had totally removed salt from my diet, thinking I was so healthy and thinking, oh, I'll never have any uh, issues with my body because I got all that salt out. And come to find out, you know, your body really needs salt to thrive. It definitely has to have regulate regu a regulated amount, of course. But one, that type of salt that I was originally eating definitely needed to be eradicated out of my diet, but it needed to be supplemented with this kind of salt, the real salt with the minerals. True and salt. you can eat a lot more of this and have a lot better results. So putting this, introducing this into your diet regularly will actually create your body to be healthier and stronger. So I experienced um, like demineralization in my teeth from not getting proper minerals into my body, one being the sodium that I needed from the natural sea salts. And so when Steph got me back in a regular diet, my teeth got so much more um, strong, they got more white, mm -hmm. and they started to really get healthier again. And then the rest of my body as well. And you can really see, because I don't know if you know this, but your body will pull nutrients and minerals from your bones and your teeth to uh, get it within the bloodstream and get it within the, the system. So you don't want it pulling from other areas. You want to be ingesting it to feed it what it needs to grow. Yeah. So I, I, I'd say at least five or six years I was doing that, like no salt in my diet at all. So I, was, I didn't know any different, and I am glad I got rid of that junky other salt, but I had no idea there was this amazing stuff that was right from the earth. How did you feel when you started adding the salt back in? Um, I felt a lot more balanced. I didn't have as many up and down, kind of, um, it, it was almost like similar to having sugar, like blood sugar issues, you mm -hmm. know, it was like I would get kind of weak or lethargic. I think the salt mixed with the, with the proper water and oxygen in the bloodstream and all that allows you to be more balanced and allows the uh, electrochemicals to flow through. I think it's like neurons are firing back and forth. Mm. And that gets on a whole other scientific level, but without that salt in your body, your body doesn't conduct messages as well. And it may not be as quickly as you possibly can to keep that synapse firing. So I felt good, felt strong, felt healthy. And I even notice when I get a little dehydrated, some of this salt in some water with some honey Oh, like next level, that's Steph's big concoction. Like <laughs> I mean, natural just, Gatorade. yeah, natural Gatorade. We yeah. started doing that in Hawaii because everybody, we lived there for a while, and um, everybody would get there and not realize how humid and how easy it is to get dehydrated. Yep. So people would get dehydrated like crazy, and I'd be like mixing up this a natural Gatorade for them, and salt is good. Salt is a good thing. Speaking of that, I'm getting some water right now. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. Um, I was going to say too that a lot of times when you have salt cravings, your body is this very wise, amazing machine that tells you what it needs to mm -hmm. be its best. And if you're craving salt, a lot of people think that that's a bad thing, um, but it's actually a really good thing. It's your body saying you need, a lot of times, minerals. So a lot of times when somebody has a salt craving, it's really good to just have an actual high quality salt is usually because they have very low quality salt yep. and they're not getting the minerals they need. Mm -hmm. So if that's you, maybe just try a higher quality salt. Another thing you can do is like sea vegetables, um, more like um, spirulina or um, 
nori or those like sea snacks, you know, you yeah. get the, the veggie, the minerals that are found um, there, and then it nourishes your body and your craving goes away. And I found that a lot with myself. When I was first starting to get healthier, I was like, man, I'm just always craving salt. I just always want salty things. Um, and it was because I was deficient in minerals. I was mm -hmm. not getting proper minerals into my body. So yeah. it's super important. Um, so if you are looking to pick this up too, before I get more in depth with salt and the benefits to your body and all of that good stuff, I always, always, always reach out to our companies before I do this show and I ask them if they'll provide you guys with a discount. So you guys can all have my discount. Mm, that's cool. um, I put it on my website, which is stephhendel.com. If you just put backslash favorite products or yep. favorite dash products, I'll put the link below when we're done the video. Um, you can get my discount on there if you want to try real salt for the first time and you'll get free shipping. You get like 53% off, oh, um, wow. which is a pretty big deal. I didn't know that. Yeah. When you I order real salt, I know. <laughs> you're like, I'll use your code, Steph. Yeah. Um, so just be aware of that you can always get this for a discount price. I want to help you guys be mm -hmm. healthy as healthy as you possibly can. Yeah. Um, so this is an amazing way to start. I'm obsessed with this company um, because they're also good-hearted. So if you care about like where and who makes your food and things like that, the intention behind the food. Um, yeah. This is really one of the best we've ever found. Uh, it's like a family there. Well, yeah, they, they haven't changed. Like, they actually sold the company to um, somebody who had been working for them for a really long time. And what was cool, instead of just selling it and, and moving on, they maintained basically a, percent, like a portion of control of the company to ensure the equality and integrity. But the reason they sold that is so they could grow bigger and expand to reach more people. Because they, the family at the time, I guess that wasn't their intentions. But this new person that came in had the ability to expand the company. Mm -hmm. So they've created this awesome hybrid where they've had the same exact principles and traditions that they had, I think, at least 100 years in this family, maybe longer. And I mean, it's just generations been passed down. And then the person that, that now operates the company had built up with them from after college. And so he's now taken to a whole new level that they hadn't even foreseen. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool how they've evolved over the years and been able to go up against the big food conglomerates and not have to settle or not have to sacrifice who they are. Really awesome stuff. Yeah, and we had the privilege of going to their salt mine, like going down into the salt mine, which mm -hmm. is where that salt rock came from that Josh just showed you. Um, and then also into the place where they manufacture. Yeah. So by being there, when you're talking to the employees you, and you're asking them what they like about working there or how they like working there, they're all telling you that it feels like a family. Um, yeah. They're telling you everybody's helping each other. Like, it's just so beautiful. It's mm -hmm. something that you don't find a lot in companies. Um, and that, like, for me, the intention that's behind the food that you're eating has yeah. a huge impact on how your body absorbs this. So I can recommend books for you guys if you're interested in learning more about that. Um, or I talk about it in my course as well. But um, yeah. the intention that you that's put into the food before you have it, like one time Josh and I, we went to a coffee shop and it was at a church, and the guy was like, oh, here's your coffee, I put so much intention into it. And we're like, oh, thank you. He's like, yeah, I prayed over it for you. And we were just like, that was cool. what? Yeah. You prayed over our coffee? Like, yeah. way to take it to the next level. Um, because when something, like, you've seen all the times that they've done studies with the rice, and they have like three different things of rice, and they yell at one of the rice, and then they mm. speak lovingly to the other rice, and yeah. then they do something in the middle of rice. But the one that uh, people yell at in the same amount of time, um, this rice is moldy and gross. The other rice is healthy and normal. Um, they've done it with plants and flowers and everything, and you know things that grow from the ground um, that are produced from the earth. They respond to our um, intentions. Mm. So when things are made with really good so intention, good. it's absorbed differently into your body. Yeah. And this stuff is made with really beautiful intentions. Um, so every single recipe that you find in my Body Book My Love courses, my food, we lost you guys for a second, but we were just talking about how everything in my Body Book My Love, food guides, all that stuff is always, always made with real salt. 
because this is the best stuff for your body. This is the stuff that's going to change. It's going to make it easier to lose weight. It's going to make it easier for you to see like more of a glow in your skin and just have a, a radiance to your whole yes. body, your whole being, because it's made with love and intention. So the second thing that we're also talking about today is bentonite clay, which Redmond also makes. So right where they have their salt mines, they also have these beds of clay. And the clay is amazing for pulling toxins and impurities out of wherever you have it. So um, mm. if you're using it, they have an earth paste toothpaste that we use. Yep. And when we're using it, it's pulling toxins out of the gums. Um, a lot of buildup can happen in your mouth, especially from all the toxic foods we have in the standard American diet. Yep. And by doing that, it's pulling the toxins and impurities out. If you were to put this on your face, they have a face mask that we use, um, it's going to pull toxins and impurities out of your skin, out of your face. Um, if you're eating it, it's going to pull toxins and impurities out of the internal organs of the body. So as you can see, this is a phenomenal thing because... Yeah, I think what's, what's cool about this is that Native Americans used to use clay, this exact same clay, when they mm -hmm. were uh, traveling around or they had some kind of illness and they needed to cure their stomach. They would just scrape it off the top of the ground and ingest it. Mm -hmm. So this stuff is a little bit more clean now because, you know, packaging and marketing, obviously they have to make sure it's a certain procedure. But this is the exact same clay that's being used back before Western medicine to heal so many things. Yeah. It literally can heal so many things with the digestive oh tract, the body, and just the Game skin injury. as well. I mean, the way it heals wounds and heals... Um, like little cuts, oh, it's just next level. Oh yeah, I got, we have a cat, <laughs> yeah. new new cat, scratched my hand and I put the clay on it last night and it looks like it's like, it's majorly healed. Yeah, within one more day it'll Craziness, be like crazy healed. Because I had cats growing up, I get scratched all the time, I'm like I know how long that takes to heal and this is like kind of nuts how yeah. fast that healed. Um, and also there's, again, the salt and in the clay, there's, a, a, there's some type of uh, mineral that actually rebuilds the teeth. So if your teeth have been destroyed, that can be a lot harder to rebuild it. But if they're still fully intact, then by brushing your teeth with the earth paste or ingesting some of this clay and the salt, you're going to be getting certain minerals that will actually go to rebuild the teeth, remineralize. Which is something that most people don't know is possible. And I'm not saying it's going to build it necessarily from you know, a rotten tooth, but my point is if they're still solid teeth and they're still healthy, then you're just going to keep on getting stronger and stronger as you go, which is really, really unique and really amazing for a natural product like that. Yeah, absolutely. What, what's cool to me too is that they are, you see the kids in the, in the family, of, and there's a lot of people in this, in this family and this company, all the kids are using these um, things as well, and yeah. it's like you can just see them glowing, they're so oh my healthy, God, so they're so healthy. radiant. And that to me speaks volumes. I mean, I would never want to use something that a kid isn't into and doesn't actually see benefit from. That's mm -hmm. like such a pure source. They're so sensitive to things. And like the toothpaste alone, they like said they just brush it, brush their teeth, rinse, and they actually put a little more on at night to leave it on overnight to soak into their teeth. And that to me, like that's how pure and safe this stuff is. Yeah, you could, and you could swallow it. Like normal toothpaste, you would not want to swallow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and everything they make is made with such good integrity. Yeah, um, yeah this stuff is just pretty next level. Um, it goes good in ice cream, too. Yeah. I don't know. Ooh, but, so good. Yeah, yeah um, smoothies, great smoothies. Yeah, we put it into smoothies a lot. And this, so this bentonite clay, um, the biggest benefit that you're going to see is that it's going to help heal the digestive system in the gut when it's ingested mm -hmm. and that's huge. In my Body Book by Love course, I make a big, big deal about digestion and healing your gut. Um, yeah. It's extremely important to health and weight loss and to reduce bloating. Most people have just bloated bodies because their gut is not working properly. Mm -hmm. So one of the first things I recommend to people is clay. Yes. Um, and the clay is so healing. It's so soothing and healing and amazing for creating a healthy and strong and mm -hmm. wonderful body. Um, and yeah, as you were saying about the families and everything, it's like there's something that happens when you start eating healthier and yes. taking better care of yourself 
Yep. And you just start to glow and it starts to affect your mind and it starts to affect your happiness level and things start to change. And you see this, you see this when somebody just says, I'm not going to live this unhealthy lifestyle anymore. I want to live better. I want to live healthier. Um, and you just see their life transform in so many ways. Um, and it's so reflected in all of the Redmond employees, like everybody there and the, they're sure. helping each other and they're good to each other and they're like a family. Um, it's just a, a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. So having these products um, made by such loving and wonderful people makes them even more awesome to us. Another reason why sea salt from Utah is more important than pink Himalayan sea salt um, is because a lot of times you don't know. Um, so first off, if it's sea salt that's coming from the seas, there's different ways that they'll get salt. So it's always coming from a sea in some way, but sometimes yeah. it's dried up from you know hundreds of thousands of years ago. Sometimes it's from the water. And there's a lot of weird stuff that's going into our water these days. Um, yeah. So it's making it less healthy and more full of mm -hmm. toxins. Wow. So sometimes you're getting Himalayan sea salt and it's coming from the, the sea, the actual sea. And so it's contaminated more than something like Utah yep. where this salt has been dried up for I think 300,000 years if I'm something correct on that. Yeah. A really long time, so yeah. it's very pure. It didn't ever get contaminated with all the stuff mm. that's going on, and um, it's very clean and it's higher quality for your body. So, Certainly. another reason to have it just keep it full of minerals. It's highly, highly important for a healthy, functioning body to have minerals. Thank we you. thrive off of vitamins, minerals, enzymes. We need these things. Gotta like the salt. You just gotta lick the salt rock. Um, that's what animals so, do. That's actually how they found the salt cave. Is because all the elk and the deer in the area kept going and licking the ground. And so that just shows you if we mimic nature, like obviously the animals realize they need this. And that's how they, the original people found the salt in the ground. Mm. It's also cool too, if you know anything about um, what was the cliff dwellings. Oh, like Mesa Verde? Yeah, Mesa Verde. So they found this exact same salt in those caves. In Mesa Verde, where this salt's from Utah, Mesa Verde is Colorado. That's pretty much. So it shows you how, like, like how powerful this salt was. People were trading it um, back in the day, and I guess this was a, a form of currency, which is where the word salary comes from. Mm. I guess it's like uh, some derivative of or salt, some derivative sal. of salary. Yeah. Sal is salt. Okay, sal is salt, and then it turned into this was like an, almost like gold for people, and it's just cool. You're holding a huge piece of gold right this now. This probably would have been worth like. Maybe a few thousand dollars back in the day. If you measure health in wealth, or if you measure health wealth. in gold, then yeah. you're very rich. <laughs> We're very rich right now. Oh. <laughs> very rich in health. So these products are number one uh, things that we highly recommend. If you want to get our discount on them, Redmond was amazing and offered a special discount that you guys could access. That is really cool. Yay! So you get 53% discount, which includes free shipping on these beautiful salt shakers. So That's just awesome. go to my website, which is stephendel.com, and you can either go to stephendel.com backslash uh, favorite dash products. We'll put the link below, or you can just go to stephendel.com and click on the top favorite products and it'll lead you to that and then you can get my discount on there and pick yourself up a real salt for your household. Um, there's a million different kinds. There, you're starting yeah. to see real salt pop up in products now, which we're so excited about. You know, there's certain tortilla chips that have yep. real salt, so salt with nutrition my instead of like crappy iodized yes. salt. You're starting to see cereals that are putting it in, conscious cereals, um, mm. all kinds of products. When you're in Utah in Redmond area, they have them at they have real salt at hotels. They have them at the Mexican every restaurant, restaurants, every like restaurant, yeah. everywhere. <laughs> they actually use real salt at um, Ruby's Diner here in California too, oh, they do. which right. is so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so, real salt is the bomb. If you're not currently using it, I highly suggest it, especially if you're living in the United States. It's even better because this is coming right from here, um, mm -hmm. close by. The clay, amazing for healing and 
remineralizing and Definitely. digestive. Detoxifying. It's so good. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> so good. Um, so guys, thanks for joining us today for today's episode. We love being here. Um, get to know Redmond products better. Their stuff is just really healthy, clean, beautiful. Um, so they're changing happen. the world. That's yes. what I think is big. They're changing the world and they're, and they're standing okay. what they believe in, which is cool. Yeah, taking a stand. It's very rare. Mm -hmm. See, I think like it's awesome just to say, uh, I don't know if this is a future product, but I'll let you know now, uh, the Jackson Honest. It's like the great brand of tortilla chips. They use the real salt on yeah. them. So check and those coconut out. oil. Oh yeah, and they're done with coconut oil. That's so scary. if you have the tortilla chip affection, kind of like Steph here, then at least go for the <laughs> most conscious, healthiest style. Yeah, and get the Body Boat by Love hummus so for your Valentine, Valentine's which Day is special. made with real salt, of course. This stuff really does make everything taste better. Mm -hmm. um, so if you are looking to check out past episodes of the Fit and Fearless Female Show, go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com backslash Steph Hendel. Find me on Instagram. I'm constantly posting recipes and stories and health tips and all kinds of good stuff on there. Instagram.com backslash Steph Hendel on there too. Steph Hendel everywhere. Um, and if you haven't joined my Body Built by Love family group yet, it's a private group, get in Ooh, there. Yes. What are you waiting for? So much inspiration. It's, I'm there. Yeah, Josh in. is in there. I'm in. He's chilling. <laughs> Cool. Well, thank you guys for being here. It's been so beautiful and wonderful to get to share our favorite products with you, um, to share this beautiful company that's going to change your life and uh, bring more health to you and your family and everybody you love. So uh, go buy yourself some Redmond products. Uh, get yourself a good discount on my website, stephendel.com. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you again next Monday at 3 p.m. for the Fit and Fearless Female Show. If I'm not here next week, have a happy Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it'll be right before Valentine's Day. I'm going to yeah. make you guys some treats. We're going to have Ooh. a fun Valentine's Day thing. Red beet brownies. Red beet brownies. Oh, that yeah. could happen. All right. That could happen. I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> um, so we'll see you next week. And thank you for being here. Mwah, we love you. Bye-bye.